Okay, now you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve area problems. So that's why it's really important that you're very clear on how to use this. But let's walk through that process. So it says to find the area of, of each triangle. Well, first of all, you have to remember the formula for uh, a triangle, which is area is e equals one half the base times the height, or if it's easier for you to think about it this way, base times height, which essentially is the area of a rectangle divided in half. Well, if you think about it, that's what a triangle is. Here's a rectangle. Length times width means the same thing essentially as base times height. Whoops. Put a diagonal in there, and you have half of a rectangle, which is one half of the base times height. So either method is, is fine. Anyway, so you're going to be using the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm going to make that smaller in case I have to use it again. To solve this area triangle. So notice, in order to solve this, you need to know the base and the height. Well, we have the height, but we only have a portion of the base. We need to figure out what this part is. Well, look at right here. We have a right triangle. So we can figure out this length. Now we're going to be using the formula a little bit backwards because look, here's a leg and here's the hypotenuse. We have a missing leg. So what's going to happen is we have the c squared and c squared would typically equal the a squared plus b squared. But we need to get the b squared by itself. So we're going to subtract an a squared to both sides. So to solve for a leg, you use the Pythagorean theorem. You just have to subtract one of the legs from each side to get one of the other legs by itself. Okay, you guys got that? So, nor so what you have there is you have the leg b squared plus the other leg is 8 squared is equal to the hypotenuse, which is 9, squared. Okay, then 8 squared is 64, and 9 squared is 81, but we need to get this b squared by itself, so we're going to need to subtract 64 from both sides. And when we do that, it zeroes out the 64 on the left, and on this side right here, we're left with 17. So remember uh, from the previous video, to get the, the undoing of something squared is to take the square root of it. If you take the square root to one side, you've got to take the square root of the other. So the square root of something squared, those two cancel each other out, leaving the value that's inside and there's no way to reduce the square root of 17. So there's the square root of 17. That's the value of that part right here. Let me show you how that looks a little bit more succinctly. So I'm going to go down here and I, I did all of that. A squared, 8 squared plus B squared equals 9 squared and we did all that. Now we have the square root of 17. But we're not, we're not finished yet, yeah, right? Because now we have this whole base right here. The whole base, I'm going to come back to here. I think it's going to be easier to read. And I'm going to go ahead and erase all but, whoops, the b is equal to root 17. So let me erase this stuff over here. Okay, so now that we have that this is root 17 right there. Now we have the base. The base length is this, 11 plus root 17, and the height is 8. So we can plug it into the formula. Area equals 1 half. The base is 11 plus root 17, and the height is 8. And if you want, you could have put the height first. You could do, 
Well, what's half of eight? Half of eight is four. So that takes care of those two things. And now you just have four times 11 plus root 17. And you could have done this original thing that I did just a second ago, the one half, let me go back. You guys could take your T130 calculators and type it in exactly like this. So you should, in fact, you should do that right now. Type one, you can hit the fraction button. The fraction button looks like this, an A with a B over C. It's kind of on the left hand, upper left hand side of the screen. That's the fraction button. To make one half a fraction, hit one, fraction button, two, and that turns it into a fraction. Do a left parenthesis, 11 plus the square root of 17 on the TI-30s, you would hit the second button, the upper left second button, and then you would hit the button that says X squared because the, the second, when you hit the second, but, second button, you'll notice in a different color, you see the square root there. So hit the second button, then the square root, then 17, then write parentheses, then write parentheses again, and then either type times 8 or just uh, left parentheses 8, right parentheses, and hit equal. And that will, that will give you the answer. Or kind of simplify as you go like I was doing a minute ago. I said half of 8, which is 4, and then 4 times 11 plus the square root of 17. And so if you simplify the square root of 17, to a decimal, and you can do that by just plugging that into the calculator. Second x squared button, second square root, 17, and that amount plus 11, that gives you a new amount times 4, that will give you what the area of this triangle is, and then you also say unit squared. That's how you find, using Pythagorean theorem, that's how you find the area of a triangle when a segment or a leg is missing. That's it.